how's it going? Uh, I hope you're well. Uh, excuse me, as I adjust my camera. Uh, uh, welcome to another Tuesday Tune In. Uh, this one for Tuesday, uh, April 4th. Uh, and hopefully I will get this one posted in the right order rather than posting an older one from a previous cohort just to confuse everyone because you know that's how this works. Um, I think that's a good, um, you know, opportunity to learn, right? You know, a good example of what can go wrong in a digital environment and the importance of communicating around whatever that was, right? So it turned out when I first sent it out, I knew that I had messed up in talking about the video and that uh, inside the video, I referred to my Tuesdays and Thursdays with the wrong dates attached to them. I switched them. Uh, but uh, when I got feedback that there was something wrong with the video, I uh, thought, well, yeah, of course there was. I messed up my dates. Well, it turns out, no, Jacob, you uploaded the complete wrong video instead of the one you recorded. So that's always super exciting. The importance there then is to communicate back out to your students. Uh, in my case, uh, my apology to y'all and then that that re-announcement and then the email I sent saying, hey guys, guess what? I messed up. You're not crazy. I am. <laughs> anyway, it's always good to be able to... The great thing about being in a digital environment is never think that you're beyond communicating yourself around an obstacle, right? Obstacles happen. They're going to in any digital environment. And the importance here is being able to be present in the moment and be like, okay, this has happened. What can I do to work my way through this? In that case, uh, uh, a new announcement and an email kind of following up. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> uh, this time, so we're going to talk a little bit about module five, which is multimedia, or, or four and five. Uh, multimedia and outcomes is where outcomes and then multimedia is what we came through. So uh, the multimedia module, uh, we're having you post a welcome video using the Kaltura tool. You may not use that tool, but I wanted to get you familiar with using it because it's part of the tool set in Blackboard. And if you are having an issue getting it working, make sure to talk to our, um, our support desk. They can help you step through the problem and help you try and solve the issue that you might be having. Because uh, I am not Geek Squad. I, have, I could probably work it out with you, but I'm not nearly as open and available as our support desk is. They're available around the clock to help you. So please, for... Um, for that tune in, that turn in of uh, from Sunday, this past Sunday, for the multimedia video, welcome video, and that assignment, um, make sure that if you do have any technical issues after reading through the instructions and watching the how-to, lean into the support desk. They're going to be able to help you try and fix any of those. So, we are actually coming up on what is going to boil down to our last two modules in this cohort. Yay! So I hope that um, in your time in the program that you have been able to pick up some things that can be beneficial to you. Maybe some online teaching methods, maybe some strategies, maybe it's just a tool, right? Uh, that'd be helpful. In that regard, uh, this week we're focusing on um, collaboration and communication as well as um, uh, the last module, which is assessment. Uh, and both are instrumental in any good um, online teaching practice. So uh, if you notice, I've got the course up in front of me. Remember, you can always see what's due by coming over to your calendar tab at the top of the course and then uh, clicking it and then choosing due dates. And I'm gonna zoom in a little here so you can uh, see it a little better. So I'm gonna go through that step one more time. You start off, the content tab is where you land in any course when you open it. Shifting over to the calendar tab uh, and then choosing due dates. And here you will see the most current ones will always show first. Before you do anything, before you scroll down, it's always gonna show the current ones. So coming up this Thursday are the collaboration and communication activities. And those are um, uh, course expectations and the self-assessment workbook, both of those are due uh, this Thursday, the 6th. And then Sunday, uh, you have um, uh, the module assessment module, and that is um, it's the it's the module before the last module, right? So I misspoke earlier. It's not two modules. Essentially, it's three, but the third one's pretty small. Um, but the uh, the the assessment module is important, especially as we think about these days, our challenges that are affecting us, right? Um, I'm thinking specifically of of OpenAI, of Chat B, Chat GPT, right? So it's important that we have multiple 
varied assessment manage, uh, measures that can help us you know, work through that process. And um, there's a lot of great discussion right now uh, in online and elsewhere at conferences around ways to work around that. Um, what can I do to, uh, to, to circumvent some of that craziness? And it really all bo always boils down to the thing that it's always boiled down to, and that's knowing your students and offering, when you can, varied assessment measures so that you're not always doing the same thing. Um, and there are some other strategies that you can do. We include some links to some stuff on our resources, but I just wanted you to be aware. Uh, but anyway, uh, that assessment strategy that you talk about for your course, what is your assessment strategy, your overall assessment strategy for the course? And we get in there and then we talk about the nine principles of collaboration um, uh, and, uh, and assessment. And, and, I, and I think those will be helpful for you uh, um, as you work your way through uh, and obviously the workbook. Then uh, that's that's the Sunday, and then our last due date, and you'll uh, you'll actually hear 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 from me again before this, right? Are going to have uh, the the three statements journal, the show and tell discussion, and then your ID collaboration points. I say ID collaboration points because it's important in order for you to gain certification. Uh, obviously, besides completing all the activities, you need to collaborate with your instructional designer. Um, so reach out to them. Uh, let them know that you'd like to collaborate so you can earn your points for certification. And uh, again, if you need to know who your instructional designer is, you can simply go back to our course information folder at the top of uh, the program and scroll down to where it says um, find your ID and get in there and uh, uh, get in and find who they are. So if you're a TSIS partner, you can choose your institution. SHSU colleges, just find the right one for you and you'll be able to link into your instructional designer, send them an email, and say, hey, I need to earn my collaboration points. How can we, can we meet virtually? Can we meet on the phone? Can, I, can you come by my office? Whatever that might be for you. So um, anyway, that being said, uh, I hope that helps. I do wanna say, um, for me at least, uh, I'm really excited about um, uh, a couple of things, right? One of those is um, uh, you guys coming up on, on the end of this, right? Uh, I, I have to say that this past week when you did your, you submitted ways that you're thinking about using multimedia in your course, I was inspired. And I look forward to seeing those in the future. I hope you have a great week. I hope you, uh, if you have any questions, post them in the virtual office, reach out to me via message or email, and I will be able to be there to help you, or uh, Elliot or Faith as well can help. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.